All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's blog. Day two of my rankings of this year's NFL Fantasy Football League, and today I'm going to give you my top ten ranking running backs. And this is the hardest position to evaluate compared to all the positions that you need to look at. Now, the running backs are hard because there are so many great backs in this in this league. And plus, there's a lot of uh, sleeper running backs who come out of nowhere in certain weeks during the season who can give you good valuable points. So this made it really hard for me to evaluate these running backs and give you my top 10 rankings. So I know a lot of people are going to disagree with what I'm going to say, but I'm ready for any kind of debate and criticism. I'm going to start with the number 10. I'm going to go with LaShawn McCoy, the running back out of the Philadelphia Eagles. He's a good all-purpose back who I believe has diverged to getting over 2,000 yards all-purpose this season. He's a great receiver outside of the backfield. He had over 600 yards receiving, plus over 1,000 yards rushing. He's a good player, and I think he could complement Mike Vick very well. At number 9, I'm going to go with Peyton Hillis, the running back out of the Cleveland Browns. He's a big bruiser who gives you yards after contact. He had over 1,000 yards last season, plus 577 yards receiving last year. He's a great running back, and he's a big-time bruiser, big back. And the game that really made him notice in the NFL was the game against the uh, Baltimore Ravens where he had over 140 yards rushing. He's a great running back and I had him at number 9. At first I was going to go with Rashad Mendenhall out of the Pittsburgh Steelers but I decided to go with Peyton Hillis because a friend of mine my friend Mike once mentioned how Mike Tomlin likes to use the running back who is hot for that game. Meaning the running back who is doing the best in that game. He doesn't really stick with one running back. Now Rashad Mendenhall is the top running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers but the Pittsburgh Steelers also has Manuel A. Moore and upcoming running back Isaac Redmond. And I think both of these um, backs are good complements to Rashad Mendenhall. Plus, Mendenhall is not as good as, as a receiver as uh, Peyton Hill. So that's why I had Peyton Hillis and McCoy over Mendenhall. At number eight, I'm going to go with Steven Jackson, the running back out of the St. Louis Rams. This is a great pick, and I think he could be a potential to be a top five running back because he is the workhorse for the Rams. Now, up-and-coming quarterback Sam Bradford had was the rookie of the year last season, and he's doing pretty well. But Steven Jackson is still his main guy and the main offensive weapon for the St. Louis Rams, and that's why I have him number eight. He's a good running back. At number seven, I'm going to go with Ray Rice from the Baltimore Ravens. I really like this kid because he gives you yards after contact, and he is hard to tackle because of his third wheel uh, signature move, meaning when he goes down, he uses his arms to pull himself back up and get those extra yards and keep his balance. I do like this selection. He's a good all-purpose back. At number six, I'm going to go with Darren McFadden, the running back out of the Oakland Raiders. He's a great back, and he's actually living up to his potential as being a top draft pick for the Oakland Raiders. He had over 1,000 yards, and we see and we all notice his speed in the NFL. He's a good cutback player, and he's understanding how to play the system for the Oakland Raiders and understanding where to make the cuts and read the holes. I do like this pick. At number five, I'm going to go with last season's leading rusher, Arian Foster. The reason why I have him number five, because this was last year was his breakout year, and he pretty much um, was not really noticed too much in the NFL, but everybody knows about him, and a lot more players are going to keep an eye on this kid. But I do like him at number five, and I think he could give you at least 250 points overall this season because of uh, wide receiver Andre Johnson. A lot of people are going to keep their eyes on him. Plus, his full, leading fullback, Vonta Leach. He was last season last season's All-Pro at fullback, and he's a great blocker for Aaron Pop Foster who can open up gaps and holes for Foster. I do like Foster at number five, plus he's a good receiver outside of the backfield. Not only he rushed for over 1,600 yards, he also caught over um, 600 yards receiving, and he was the leading point, he was the scoring leader last season in the NFL Fantasy League. He's the NFL Fantasy League MVP, and that's why I have him at number five, but only because it was one season, but everybody's going to key on him more this year, so that's why I have him at number five. At number four, I'm going to go with Jamal Charles, the running back out of Kansas City um, Chiefs. He's a great back. The only problem is, is that he does not reach, reach the end zone much, but he's a good all-purpose back. He had over 1,800 yards all-purpose. He's a great speedster who could be a home run threat, but he really needs to reach the end zone. If he gets over 10 touchdowns in the season, that is great, and I think he could get at least 300 points overall this year if he could just reach the end zone but I think Thomas Jones is going to be used more for the goal line situation so that's why I have him at number four now at number three I'm going to go with MJD Maurice Jones Drew 
Pocket Hercules. I do like this kid because he just plays smash mouth football and he is hard to tackle. He is Jacksonville's offense, in my opinion. He's all they have and he is leading this team to to more um end zone more touchdown situations and he is the key player for the offense of the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's why I'm having him at number three. At number two, I'm gonna go with speedster Chris Johnson out of the Tennessee Titans. He has good speed and he's the home a home run threat every time he touches the ball. This is a great kid. And at number one, the best running back I have is Adrian Peterson out of the Minnesota Vikings. Now due to the quarterback situation for Minnesota with Christian Ponder being their first round draft pick, he doesn't really have any experience in the NFL. And plus, with the lockout situation, it's going to be hard for for Ponder to develop in the NFL as a rookie. So everybody's going to keep. So that means more carries are going to be gone to Adrian Peterson, and he's going to be the workhorse for the Viking offense. And I think he's going to score a lot of points for the, whoever picks him up in the fantasy football draft. He's a great back. He can get to the end zone. A lot. He had 12 touchdowns last season, over just under 1,300 yards rushing. But he's a great back, and he was the number two overall back um, for a lot of people last season. I think he was number two in points overall. He's a great back, and I think this is a good selection for anybody. So he that he had to be the number one safe pick, lock pick. Definitely go with Adrian Peterson, number one. Now I'm going to give you a couple of honorable mentions. I also I mentioned Rashad Mendenhall earlier. He was my honorable mention. Matt Forte of the Chicago Bears. He's a good back. He could give you a couple of great games. He had a couple of great games rushing and receiving last season and scored a lot of points for in fantasy football. This is a good all-purpose back as well, and I think he could be a great fit for any person who picks him up. And then also I'm going to talk about uh, also uh, Michael Turner, the running back out of uh, – Atlanta Falcons, he's a big-time workhorse. He gets hurt a lot, but I still think he's a good running back, reliable. I do like this pick as an honorable mention. And now, now I'm going to talk about some backup running backs who I think you should pick up in the later rounds who could help you out later in the season. One person I have in particular is Fred Jackson out of the Buffalo Bills. If C.J. Spiller goes down, Fred Jackson should be the guy you should pick up in the late rounds because he's a good backup running back and he had a couple of great games last season scoring over 20 points in a couple of games and I do like him as a running back he's a good backup running back a good complimentary for CJ Spiller and I think he can help out any fantasy player when there's a player who's injured on their team pick up Fred Jackson he's a great running back also a couple of rookies I want to talk about Shane Vereen for the New England Patriots I think he could be a good back in the NFL good reliable score some points for people and Daniel Thomas out of the Miami Dolphins. Uh, he played the Wildcat offense at Kansas State, and the Wildcat offense is their signature play for the Dolphins. And I think as him being young, buff, and fresh legs, I think he could be the leading back for this season for the Miami Dolphins in complement of Ronnie Brown and Ricky Williams. Both players are getting banged up and old, and Daniel Thomas can get some points for you. And Michael LaShore, the running back from from the University of Illinois. He's now with the Detroit Lions, and I think him and Javid Best could be a great one-two punch, and I think he could get you some points on the side who, when you, a player that you have picked for your draft is injured. You could put in Michael LaShore in, and I think he could score you some points, and that's why I have these guys as good backups to look in the, in the later rounds. Now, my sleeper running back, I'm going to go with Ryan Terrain, the running back out of the Washington Redskins. He's a great back. The only thing is, is that he has to stay healthy and reach the end zone. If this guy is healthy, he is very dangerous. He had a couple of hundred yard games last season. He's a big back, but he just needs to stay healthy. If he is healthy, he's a great sleeper for the NFL draft. Now a lot of people might say LeGarrette Blunt is a sleeper, but a lot of people do know about LeGarrette Blunt. He had a couple of big games as well, and he had over a thousand yards, so he had a, he kind of made a name for himself in the NFL, but Ryan Terrain kind of did not. And I think a lot of people are forgetting about Ryan Terrain for the Washington Redskins, but we will see. If he stays healthy, he will be a great back. Now, for tomorrow's video, I'm going to give I'm going to give you my top 10 rankings for the wide receivers and give you my top 10 players at that position. And that's another hard position to um, cover. But I'm going to give you my top 10, but it's not as easy. It's not as hard as the running backs, but this is still a hard um, position to evaluate the wide receivers. But I'm going to give you my top 10 tomorrow and talk about them. Thank you for watching today's blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.